Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a featured blog post on your blog page. So it's going to be one that's like a horizontal layout as opposed to like the grid and it's going to stand out. It's going to be featured and this can either be the latest post, like if you really want to highlight, hey, this is our latest one, or if you want to highlight one specific post that you've already published. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I kind of have a little bit of a graphic here. On my thumbnail, you can kind of see the gist of what I'm going to do. You can see this one's featured and then there's like other ones below it. And we actually have that similar on our blog. So right here, kind of have this one featured right now when I'm recording this. And then there's these other ones below it. All right, so there are two methods, like I mentioned. So you could either you know, do the latest post or a specific one. So I hope that doesn't get too confusing. You're going to you know, pick one of those. So what I will show you here first is just the basic setup, adding the blog modules. So you'll have two blog modules for both of them. The first blog module will have one post and depending on which method we're using, it'll have different settings. So that's kind of the main thing. I'm going to just set that up really quick here. So I'll go ahead and add a blog module. And first thing I'm going to do is just set it to one to show one post and the post count. Okay. That's, that's important because we only want one featured post. Then below that, I'm going to go ahead and add another one, another blog module. This one, it doesn't really matter on the post count, but I will change the design layout here to grid. And for now, that's it. And I just realized I need to get rid of the pagination uh, elements right here. Show pagination. We don't want that. All right. So this one's full width and this one's grid and this one's set to one. And, you know, that's <laughs> you could actually kind of go with that and it would almost work, except notice that this blog post and this blog post are the same. So let me show you the, the first one here, just using the latest post as featured. If you wanted this one to be big like this, then you'd be like, well, I don't want it this, you know, show again here. I don't want to, um, you know, it just doesn't seem professional to have it like showing twice. How do you get rid of that? Well, I'll show you that. So that's going to be the first method here. So we already have it set to one, but now this post offset number is the trick. So go back to the second module, go open the settings here. This one here, post offset number, set that to one. And what that's actually doing, it's you're setting the number of post posts that it's skipping. So we want it to skip one because we have one up here. So one on the page. So if I get rid of it again, Notice this one here, like with the solar panels is, is first. And then this, this cat is third, or I should say second and third, right? So if I skip one, now this one's first here and second here. So we've achieved it just as simple as that. All right. So that's method one where we're using that offset to skip that first post. Now, if you want this post to be a completely different post, not the latest one. Well, well, let's backtrack here a little. So we're going to get rid of the, the offset number because now we want the latest one to be here. Now we want this to be a specific post. Well, how would we do that? Well, we can take advantage of this here, the included categories. So what I will do, and you can do this also go to the back end of your website, go over here to posts, and hover over to categories and just make a new category and just call it um, featured post, <laughs> something very memorable like that. All right. And click add category. Now we have featured posts. Well, now we have to add a post, which, which post do you want? Well, that's up to you. Go to your all posts and then click on another post. Um, I have one here that I was going to use. So, featured blog post example for me and you would you would pick the one that you want to be featured so what i will do here instead of being uncategorized i want it to be 
featured post. I will update, and this is this cat here. Now we know that this is the only blog post that I have in this category. It's already published. So now I will save my page here and then refresh this. And the reason we had to refresh there was to load the category into here. So right here it is, featured post. So, you know, right now it's this, this kitchen one, but if I choose featured post, we know it's going to be that one with the cat. Okay, so we'll just save that. We could go here and look at our page and it's gonna look about the same. But here now this post is featured and then we go to the rest. Now, this doesn't look the nicest, does it? The way it's laid out. So I'm going to show you some you know ways to improve that. Uh, one of the first things you could do if you want to, you could add like a text module here and you can make a heading like featured post, or if, like if it was the latest one, you could say latest post, right? You know, something like that. And you could put that like above it here. Now, as far as this layout, I I particularly don't like it. Um, so I have, um, by the way, all this was written here if you needed to follow it, but I have this linked here, a different tutorial that I already have on my blog here that you can reference. So it's this one here, making the blog into this list layout. And I, I think this is this is perfect for this. So go ahead and follow this. I'm going to maybe do it real quick here. So I know that I need to add this class and then copy this CSS. So I'll go ahead and, and add that class right here in this first module. And then copy the CSS and I'll put it in my page settings here. And you can already see it changed the layout. And, you know, to make this really featured, you may want to come in here and, um, well, I don't even know, like, like uh, make the background a different color. You know, maybe, maybe you want the text to be, like, really big. Like, like in here you want it to be just, you know, big old text like that and, and white and whatever you want to do to make this one featured. That's going to be totally up to you. And again, you can follow this tutorial. I actually have some stuff here. Like here I have some some pretty nice styling. In fact, we could add that. Kind of adds like a <laughs> border around there. And then just different ex um, options here. This one here would be if you wanted to make it um, the text vertically aligned, you'd have to use this. I decided not to use it for, for this quick demo, but you can do that one if you want. And there you go. Now now my um, featured post like really seems like it's featured. Now I'll show you one more trick and you could really get fancy with this if you want to. Let's say you wanted to break up your blog page here um, with different things. And I'll do this one quick, but let's say I only wanted three posts here and then um, another another featured one. So I'm gonna duplicate that one once. Come down below here. You could actually do something like this. You could keep like, you know, making your layout. You could either have the pagination there or not. You know, maybe this is a completely different category. Like, like you know, right? And you want this one to have a blue background, whatever. You could add another section here. Now the trick here, now if you're just using the category, that's fine, but the trick you may run into, like if I duplicate this and then come down and add it below here, well now I'm seeing the same post, so now you're gonna have to use the post offset feature again. So let's see how many I would need. One, two, three, four, five. I think I would need to skip five now in here to get to like a unique blog post, if that makes sense. Yeah, perfect. All right, so now they're all like, Unique because I counted one, two, three, four, five. So I skipped five for this one. Anyway, that's a real quick bonus. I wasn't even going to include that, but it kind of goes along with making a featured um, blog post. All right, so there you go. I was having a little fun, a couple bonuses there at the end. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you found this useful, if if you learned something today, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you subscribe, um, you're gonna get this kind of thing. Um, 
ever yeah pretty much all the time so every week we do a tutorial for free here on our blog and on YouTube and we enjoy doing that so be sure to um, go to our website check out our membership check out our plugins and all that good stuff and we'll see you all in the next video